Okay, so next up we have the 12 inch from Speakercraft. This one is the HRSI 12. Um, so gathering from what I've seen, it just looks like a higher line um, from the subwoofers. It's a 12 inch. So let's open this up and get into it. What's the power outage on the, of the power outputs on this one? Let me just check. Also a thousand watt. So this is a 12 inch thousand watt, but it looks like a single driver and not a um, triple driver like the other one. And it's also more expensive being the higher line. Oh, I didn't give you guys prices on, on these. So prices on the 15 inch, that's the triple driver. Um, that is actually a very good price. 35,900 for the 15 inch. And on the 12 inch, this one, 53,890. So as I always do, let's see why it's more expensive. Is it worth paying more for this? Because um, already off the bat, I'm, I'm loving the 15. Um, yeah, let's see, let's see. Let's roll this out the box. It's not nearly as heavy or difficult to, to control as the 15 inch. Much better packaging. It's got that, um, instead of polystyrene, it's got this high density foam packaging. Let's see. Oh, on this side, there's the grill. I'm not going to take it out, it's taped nice. But it's the same type of grill as on the 15. So, not much difference there. Here we have the Speakercraft booklet. So, I see there's the HRSI. And the QTE X, XTE QI. Sure. They have um, <laughs> long, long wordings for their speakers. Okay, so let's get into it. So I'm going to put this manual to the side also. So already being piano high gloss black, I can see that this, this is a compact sub can already see that this has like that anti-scratch bag um, so this I'm guessing is going to go like competition or something like an SVS micro maybe um, like you know a high performance compact um, gloss sub where the 15 is more of a um, industrial finish that goes in a cinema room or behind the screen or something this will be more um, something that you show off your you know your high gloss stuff and not too big for the rooms but in my experience the smaller subs can never do what the bigger subs do but I'm always open to be surprised okay so firstly yeah, these, these are demo models. That's why I did not cut the boxes open. So you can see high gloss black already. Finger marks, small scratches, you know, just from wiping them. That's high gloss black. That's always going to be high gloss black. So, yeah, one thing one needs to make, you know, to, to know and to live with. Sure, carbon fiber driver. Carbon fiber or carbon Kevlar? Yo. Ah, you know what, you know what, um, I was told when these were delivered, so you guys remember Sunfire, so the same guys that made Sunfire made these subs, and you can almost see that sort of same lineage of that super thick um, rubber on the side, so it looks like that, and it's got this nice curve here, almost like a waveguide, really loving the look of this, this is a, this is a, um, a handsome, a handsome little beast. At the back, much different amplifier to the other one. Yo, this is minimalist. Oh, this has app control. I was saying, where's the volume and stuff? This has app control like the SVS. So we'll go get into that. So power in there, hard on off, um, LFE, and then your RCAs. So your app control. Okay, 
So I'm going to start testing these and then I'll let you guys know what I think of them. And we'll put them up against some of your favorites. Let's see. Um, I think the best sub to put that one up against is the DN12. I wish I had the 15 because that would be a direct competitor. For this, I don't have the SVS Micro anymore. Um, but we'll, we'll make a plan. So stay tuned guys. We are going to do a whole slew of products from Elan Systems. I have been to their place. I have listened to their Crick Cinema. And we'll do a few of their products. And also I will go there one day. Um, give you a tour of their facilities. Take you through everything. And we can have a demo of some of their systems. Um, some very nice products that I've seen there. Um, and the one that stood out the most. I'm not going to spoil it now. I'll show that in the video. I might be able to get that next. After this range of stuff. But this is going to take me a while. I've got the two subs. I've got the um, LCRs. Um, I've got the receiver, so it's going to take a while. But let's dig into this first, as you guys know, I love my base. Stay tuned for the series on the Elan systems. Thank you again for the guys for sending them out. Um, yeah, stay tuned for the next video. Cheers, guys. Bye. Back. So next, I will be testing the Speakercraft range of subs. As you've seen in the unboxing, we have the 12-inch. And we have the 15 inch. I'm not going to touch on spec again. I did it in the unboxing videos. Um, I will be testing these together. So the testing will be the same for both of these subs. I'll just add it on to the videos because I'll keep the video separate. But the testing video is going to be the same. Um, just a quick overview before I get into testing. What I think about these subs. This 12 inch must be the most musical sub that I've had in a very long time. Um, I've had a lot of musical subs and they're all good in their own right. But this thing just hits differently. What I like about the app integration on it, it is, you know, it's, it's simple. Um, on on a SVS, you can go in and you can tune that thing up to the hilts. And if you don't know what you're doing, you don't know what you're doing and it just becomes too much and eventually you leave it and just sort of run the sub as is um so that is that is the thing many people don't know how to set up the new svs as of the built-in dsp and the onboard app this app um i'll get my phone now to show you guys it's so simple custom music movie not too much going on, very easy to set up, and I did not even feel the need to go to custom. Um, if I was watching movie, I went to movie, makes it down a bit low. If I was watching music, brings out that that um, sort of 60, 50, 60, 80 to 100 hertz, brings that out more for a bit more punch. So that's all I had to do, and this blended seamlessly with all the speakers I tested on stereo from my clips bookshelves to the Bentleys, to the Cornwalls, to the um, Crick system that I did the video on that was also supplied to me for testing um, purposes. Brilliant, brilliant. What it does not do well is movies. So for the normal movie, it's fine. But with all sealed cabinets that I've tested, it gets to a limit and it sort of starts to bottom out. There's just no displacement in that cabinet. So I would not recommend this for heavy duty movie watching, light movie watching and music. That is what this sub is for. That sub is a behemoth of a beast. Um, it is based on the same philosophy as the definitive technology DN15, which I've not tested because we don't get them in SA for reasons that don't make sense to me, but we just don't get them in SA. Done. That is the same philosophy. It has three 15 inch drivers, active, two passive, um, with a thousand watts amplifier. It is an absolute beast. It's a beast. It does not do music as well as this. It does have a slight bit of boom on music and there is no app control on that. That is the lesser line. Being lesser doesn't mean it does not do its job. You just can't tune it as much as you can do the top one for music. Um, but on movies, 
and on normal TV watching and all of that, it's a beast. It thumps with authority. It digs down low. Um, I'm so impressed with that subwoofer. I'm really impressed. And at the price that it's going for, um, I think it's 32,000. Let me just check here. 35,990. That's a bargain. That is a bargain. Because um, I wish we got the DN15. We just don't get it. <clears throat> I'm guessing it would be a bit more or less the same price. But we don't get it. So if you are looking for a passive design 15 inch speaker craft guys. So um, if you're interested in any of them, hit me up. Um, I'll hook you up. Give you a sweet deal. Maybe combine it with a Craig system or something like that. Um, but for now, let's do the testing. So um, I'm going to be testing them on... on you know what, I'll do a bit of a movie, so I want to show you what I mean about when this gets to its limit. And I'll bring the camera closer, and I'll do some music as well. Um, then you guys can see exactly what they do and where their shortcomings are. Okay, we have now moved on to the 12 with this beautiful carbon fiber radiator and this thick Sunfire-esque um surround which is sort of designed by the same guys in any case so let's see what this can do okay it's switched on just slowly letting it in there we go It's got the output, but it does get to its limits every now and then. Okay. So I'm not going to push that too much. That explains what I'm saying about sealed subs, where they do get to that limit, where you can just feel that there's not enough movement inside the cabinet not enough space for the air to move inside the cabinet and it wants to go somewhere this is perfect for sealed music listening movies sealed movie listening okay so let's quickly conclude my findings on these two subs as you could see this runs out of steam when you get into the very insane base, but that's not what it's designed for. It is the more expensive sub out of the two of these, but it is made with stereo in mind. That is a stereo high performance sub, and that it does so, so well, so well. Um, <laughs> so well, guys, I can't, I can't tell you how happy I am with this in stereo. And I always, I like big subs, and I thought this 12 is not gonna give me what I want. I sat here enjoying my music till early hours of the morning and it's that good where it sort of disappears but there's still a good amount of bass and I have it turned down low and if you turn it up as well it doesn't you just need to get the level where it doesn't overpower the music but it still sounds like a speaker like bass and not like a sub where as soon as I switch over to this on music Instantly, I know there's a subwoofer in the system. It's, it's got a bit of a boom. This has no boom, zero bugger or boom. Um, so, if you're on the market for a music sub, put the Speakercraft 12 inch subwoofer on your list. Um, then, if you're in the market for a home theater sub at a budget, put that 15 inch Speakercraft on your list. It's definitely on my short list. I am thoroughly impressed with both of these. Um, subwoofers from Speakercraft and I want to thank um, Elan Systems again for sending these out for testing and also want to thank them for sending the Crix system out for testing if you guys have not watched the Crix video go back watch that it was the one before the subwoofers 
and then lastly i will move on to the receiver um that will be my last test i need to do a bit more work on that so i need some time i need to completely dismantle the system get it in here and then i will test that receiver again on the speakers i have including the crick system that that they sent me so enjoy these for time being and stay tuned for that one in about a week or two's time